Guys, I've been living in Australia for about three months now, and this is my first time this week visiting Sydney. I'm gonna be here for two weeks. I'm gonna take you back to LA for a sec though. Check this video out. And how's it going guys? This is Josh and Obakure, and I'm here to teach you a really cool transition trick that's bound to spruce up your video edit. I used this transition in a church video that I actually made a few months ago. Let's check out a quick little snippet of it. And they set into motion through one single act. Heaven has declared victory over your city. And the call of the Spirit is all hands on deck. God saved you. He called you. He commissioned you. He forgave you. Life is wonderful because Jesus is in it. You are destined by God for such a time as this. When you lose, you are a candidate. You're a candidate for greater and for more. Now, if you noticed, this transition actually consists of portions of the clip that I popped up and then popped back down. This is what I call a box lens transition. All right, so we're in Premiere and I actually have three clips that I shot at Disneyland that we're gonna apply this transition to. So what we're gonna do is in the project bin, we're gonna right click and we're gonna go to new item. Click on adjustment layer and then click OK. We're gonna bring the adjustment layer over the first two clips. Adjustment layers are again, just empty layers that you're able to place effects on and any clips that are below that adjustment layer are going to be affected by the effects on that adjustment layer. So we're gonna go into effects and we're gonna type transform. This is under video effects in the distort folder. And then we're gonna place that transform effect on the adjustment layer. And then we're gonna go and draw a square mask. You can draw a mask by clicking on any of these three mask options. We're gonna click on the square. And just a reminder, you can actually create a mask to mask any element of any effect that you place in Premiere. The option to mask will be under just about any effect, whether it be opacity or transform. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually create a square and then we're gonna go into the transform tool and basically what this mask is doing is it's telling Premiere the exact area of the clip that you wanna apply this effect to. So we have this mask on the transform effect, so what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna bump up the scale. And so the scale is actually only gonna be applied to the area within the mask. And of course we can move the mask wherever we want. So we're gonna just place this mask right here, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually duplicate this entire adjustment layer. To duplicate it, we're just gonna hold Alt down. And then we're gonna drag and drop. And that again creates a whole new adjustment layer with the transform effect on it with its associated mask. And then we can go and just move that mask over here. And one thing I forgot to say is for both of these adjustment layers, we actually wanna take the mask feather down to zero. Let's go to this adjustment layer as well and bring the mask feather down to zero. We want completely hard edges. We don't want any feathering. Let's create a few more. And as you can see, I've actually created a few of these adjustment layers with the transform effects on them with their associated square masks. Now what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that all of these adjustment layers are actually over the area of these two clips where the edges meet. And then we're gonna shorten the adjustment layers so that they're significantly shorter. 
we want to make sure that they're resting just over the edge from where the clip changes to the other clip. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually offset them a little bit. And as I'm offsetting them, you're going to actually begin to understand what the idea is for this transition. And that's basically that as you go from one clip to another, you have this popping effect that deflects your eyes from one clip as you're going to the other clip. Now, of course, you can go in and adjust any of these masks to make them bigger. You can go in, for example, by going into this one, go into mask, and then make this one a little bit bigger than the other ones. And that's about it, guys. Try this effect out. Post it on the Instagram. Make sure to hashtag Olufemi Tutorials, and I'll make sure to check it out. Now, of course, you can just make this transition for free by watching this tutorial. But if you'd like to purchase some pre-made, more advanced box lens transitions, you can, of course, go to my website, LuxuryLeaks.com, and check those out. Link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And as always, keep it chill. Yeah.